Hello there. I wish to take you through the process of grouping and sorting data in Microsoft Access reports. Basically, what we shall be doing today, I will take you through the process of uh, doing such an activity whereby if you look at this data, we have customer name, we have address of the customer city, customer type, amount and balance. And if you are very keen, you realize that I have grouped the customers according to city. Then uh, uh, the city, like for example, we have Nairobi, uh, you will get number of records above. That is the count of this is two. That is from Nairobi. Then you will get the amount subtotaled down here, at balance subtotaled down here. And you also get the grad totals uh, on the report footer uh, down here. That is the total for everybody's or every city's amount and every city's balance. Then, on the other hand, uh, you realize that um, every city's customers uh, that is total is indicated here. Therefore, this is done by doing grouping and sorting that is in Microsoft uh, Access and therefore let's uh, do that one together. Create then table and then we need to create our table together. Therefore uh, basically we go to uh, ID that is the customer ID customer ID then this one will be auto number and our primary key. Then we shall have customer name, customer name there. Then that remains that way. Then we have address, address of the customer. Then we have the city of the customer. And then we shall have the customer type, customer type. That is customer type. Then we shall have the amount, amount payable, amount payable. Then you can have the amount paid. Then we shall have the due or balance. Then this one, this is currency data type. This is currency data type. This is currency. Now, after done, uh, having done that one, um, we shall now save this one. If we can just save it as uh, customers. Then the next thing we need to do is to go to the customer type here. Then we just go down here, look up wizard here, we use combo. We type, we have combo, uh, that way, it is, then this one is value list, then we type, we have, we have uh, government, then semicolon, then we have individual, individual, then we have, um, Mm -hmm. The other one we can talk of business, business, that is business, business. Good. Then after having done that, we can just go and save, then run our table. Then we shall need to uh, feed our data here. Therefore, I had uh, copied that one from Microsoft Excel. Then, after having done this, it is that now we have the, the that is the lookup down here. And now I can be in a position to uh, choose in case I want to add another one. Therefore, this is the data that we shall be using. And uh, we can also try to make sure that these headings are not so, uh, that is very long to disturb us. Therefore, I just go to customer ID, 
I go to caption, I just write it as ID. Then customer name, just go to caption, just write name. Then you just go address is okay, customer type, caption, just type type. Uh, this this is amount payable, caption payable, payable. Then amount paid, just in caption write paid, paid. Due, just in caption write balance, balance. Therefore, if uh, I am now done with that, when I run, you will just see ID name balance, yeah, shorthand instead of uh, having the, the wrong names. Then from here, we just go straight and create a report. Therefore, just go to create, then go to uh, report wizard, uh, send, uh, uh, send everything to the right hand side. Next, next, next. Then this one, we want a tabular uh, report. Next, we can just call it customers uh, customers report customers report then we just click on finish now once you do on finish you realize that uh, our report is uh, a bit disorganized we can change that one to landscape by hitting on this then save it as landscape then just right click go to design view now once you go to design view you can be in a position now to uh, edit these ones like for example we can just take these ones just to, get to increase space and for this one we have our balance and that is due here then we have mount page we can just edit it a bit to make sure that it is suits our needs and this is our amount this one can be pulled backwards and so this one can be pulled backwards then this is the customer type that is the type of the customer city uh, a twin i think now it's uh, it looks good therefore you can just now highlight and edit it go to format uh, put black and bold then run it we see what we have so far therefore this is what we have it looks nice now we go now straight to uh, what we want that is uh, whatever we want to uh, accomplish therefore right click go to uh, design then first of all we can just um, make sure that we have the balance displayed here therefore balance should be equal to this one uh, minus this one and therefore just copy this i write copy uh, from your keyboard control C then uh, type type equals that way you can just go to to zoom that one go to design then go to properties then scroll this one now we want to uh, have this one therefore it is equals to amount paid minus amount page that way therefore it is just that one amount paid you can see the formula here this is the formula this is the formula to calculate the balance amount paid minus that one therefore when we cross this one and run you first of all realize that we have balances computed for us therefore let's now go to sorting and grouping or grouping and sorting what you need to do is to go to design view here then you will see this button here uh, that is you will see the button group and sort now we want to group our report using city but when you first of all look at it you realize that cities are mixed up cairo is here cairo is here dubai is here now we want to sort by bringing them together before we can uh, do grouping therefore you right click you just go to uh, this part here uh, you go to design you hit this button uh, that is sort this you hit this button now once you hit that button 
uh, that is the sort button and you realize there is a field created down here we have this one we have group, add group add sort you see these two therefore what i need to do i will just click on this point here now this add group then uh, what am i adding i want to add a group city therefore once i do that and save and then run uh, you realize that first of all my cities have been grouped or brought together cairo together dubai together kampara together london together mumbai together now i want to display a situation whereby the microsoft access will count for me cities here and type 3 dubai 3 such then it will compute for me total of total pair well, that is the subtotal for each group of cities and then down here it will give me the grand total of all these all these all these therefore let's do that one together before you go to design view then uh, in this group that we have created here you go to more then you go to with totals this one uh, you go to with the totals here you click the button then here i want to count therefore count records you see count records and then uh, show uh, you can show the grad total but meanwhile before you do that first of all after now doing this press uh, hit save save and then see what happens when we run therefore you see so far nothing has happened therefore we go back go to design view go to the same point more go to with the totals then here customer id with uh, count records then we can put that one ticked there then save then hit home and then do that one um now when you come down here you realize that we have 15 records uh, that has been uh, put here but we also need to see totals subtotals of these therefore you again go back to design view go back to more here then go to subtotal here now instead of now doing the grad total here we use uh, subtotals that is the e this one show show sub uh, show subtotal in group footer therefore you save that one then you hit that one therefore you realize that i have three one two three here this one i also have three one two three here this is two and this is two therefore i needed to reorganize that one and therefore i just go again design view then now i can just uh, uh, bring this one somewhere here then go to uh, go to design then take a rainbow then i can just put a rainbow here uh, here just a small rainbow and then i type uh, number of uh, city above number of city above then i click on it go to format then go to where the car is and also make it bold then um if now i run that one it looks more nice therefore you see number of city above should it be cities above we have three 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 then we can also change the color to make it attractive therefore this one should be number of cities numbers of cities above then we can highlight that make make it give it a different color just to uh, make it attractive therefore you see number of cities above three number of cities above three that is the subtotal of the groups above then we go ahead now and make sure that the total here is displayed the subtotal here is displayed the subtotal here is displayed and also the grad total is displayed here okay to do that you right click go to design view then go and add another group down here here we have one group therefore you just hit this button add a group this time around i want to add a group amount payable then on amount payable i go to more 
then I go to this button here with number totals. Therefore, I go hit sum, but this point here, I have to choose amount payable. Then I want it as show grad total. Therefore, I just save that one, go home, run it, see what happens. You get the grad totals here. Therefore, you see, we have $94. This is the total of, that is the grad total of payable. Therefore, let's also do the grad total for paid advance. And later, we finish up by doing the subtotals. Now with that, we have grouped and sorted. Therefore, we go back. Therefore, go down here again. Add another group. Add a group. Then this time round, we are adding amount payable. Then again, go to more. Then go to this point. Uh, amount payable. Okay, this is on the amount payable. We have done that. Therefore, we just we have done that one. Therefore, let's just ignore that one. Go to uh, this amount paid. Amount paid, we go to more. Then this with amount, this is, we want the amount paid here. Therefore, we choose amount paid. Then uh, we click show uh, grad total. That way, then we hit on save, then home and run. See whether that one has been done. Very good. You see now, so far we have the, we have the, uh, that is the total or grad total of amount payable, grad total of amount paid. Let's now have grad totals of uh, the balance. Therefore, right click, go to uh, design view. Now, once you go to design view, it is also important you pull these ones up, these ones to hide them. Then we go again down here. We go and add another group. This is due. On due, you go to more. Then this point here, you choose more. You choose due. Then sum here. Then show grad total. Okay. Therefore, when you are in this group here, once you go to more, uh, make sure that you can see due totaled. And this means that. Uh, if I once I save and run, uh, just go down here. You'll be in a position to see that uh, the subtotals for amount pay that is grad total for amount payable, uh, grad total for amount paid, and grad total for due is complete. Then we can just go ahead and uh, now make sure that we have the subtotals. That is the the subtotals of various groups therefore basically what you do you just go and copy this copy this one uh, you can hold control then copy that one go to home then copy then come to this point here uh, here and then paste therefore once you paste these ones you can just bring them uh, to this point that way then we can just change them the color to make sure that they are a bit different from the others then uh, after doing that pull this upwards then you can now be in a position to uh, run that one and once you do that you realize that uh, for payable amount this is the total if you add up this one you get this is the total if you add up this one you get this is the total then down here when you just go down here You'll be in a position to see the grad totals, of which we can still go ahead and put uh, a label for that. Therefore, I can just go to this point, then put a label here. I just call it grad total. Grad total. Then uh, for this grad total, I just go format. Uh, you can uh, give it brack that way. Uh, then you can still do the same to this point here. Just go to design, take a rebel. Then this one, you can just write it as subtotals. Therefore, this is subtotals. That way. Then once you do that, you just go to format, uh, set that one, that side. 
also this one we have done the same uh, you can also change all this one to red just to make sure that we have uh, differences then uh, if now I run this one that way I've been in a position to see subtotals the word subtotal there and also grad total down here then you can just separate them by putting lines uh, just go to this point design uh, we can also have a heading here that is customers uh, report then uh, bring this one a bit the format we give it some color board we can also insert our logo here design we can just insert our logo uh, go to picture we insert a logo here uh, in the picture uh, like that one then we have our logo that is our report logo here then after doing this we just customizing our report we go to this point take align then make sure that uh, we have our align here uh, here we can have a straight line a straight line there uh, let's just draw it again have a straight line there then uh, save and run uh, you see that we have uh, that is that line there we can also draw one line here to make our report more appeasing to the eyes that way then we can also draw another line just below this one here uh, that this point here that way we can draw that then now run our, our uh, report therefore you can see now our report is complete and also um, let's finish up by drawing another line here that is down here we just draw one here for this one that way then now run therefore you're in a position to see when you go down here we have our grad total uh, therefore in if we look at Nairobi we have three uh, customers Mumbai we have two Randan we have two Kampara we have two and then we have there their subtotals uh, displayed uh, as we have uh, done therefore that's how you sort and group using Microsoft Access reports therefore thank you very much for watching see you in my next session